G'day everyone, welcome to another episode of Python for LEGO Robotics. Today we're learning how to code a robot to scan and print using Python. Way before the Session Brothers came up with their fantastic scan and print robot for the Mindstorms robot inventor, I created a scanning robot of my own for Spike Prime called Scanner Prime. Now Scanner Prime uses a rack and pinion mechanism to control the color sensor to scan one side of the robot and while it is traveling it uses a piston mechanism on the other side of the robot to uh, print on the opposite side. Why are we coding in Python? It's because Python is one of the world's most popular coding languages. You can use Python to write almost any kind of program, whether it is for robotics or home automation, websites or video games. And best of all, it's super easy to learn, which makes it a natural progression from scratch and block-based coding. Now before we get started, you will need to build the Scanner Prime by watching this video or you can support my channel by downloading the PDF instructions in the link below. For the price of a cup of coffee, you can get the detailed instructions in PDF format that you can print out, give to your students, and uh, it's just really handy to have around while you're building. And remember, it is your support that lets me continue to make coding videos, so I thank you in advance. Let's jump into the code. All right, so first thing we do is we hit the new project button in Spike Prime, select a Python file and call this Python Scanner Prime. Click Create. And here the first thing we're going to do is define our objects. So uh, we're going to create a ready state flag and we're going to make it equal to false. So I'm going to make this a bit larger for everybody to see. ready flag equals to false and then print motor equal to motor at b uh, gantry motor equals to motor c so the gantry is the part that moves left and right and the print motor is controlling the up and down motion of the pen <coughs> excuse me <coughs> wheel motor equals motor at F. The button is going to be equal to the force sensor at A. And the color sensor is equal to color sensor at port E. We're also going to set a scanning flag, so scanning starts off as false and button pressed is also equal to false. Why am I using a button press flag and not just directly using the um, four sensors is pressed function? It's because uh, if I use the is pressed function it can trigger multiple times. I want to use a flag to make it so that if I press the four sensor it's only ever going to trigger once and you will see what I mean later on. We're going to define a reset function. So here we go define reset. What we're going to do when we reset, we set the ready state to false. Print motor, oops, dot run to position, zero. Gantry motor, dot run for seconds. Uh, six seconds at a speed of minus ten. Hub dot light matrix dot right ready. So what we're doing is we're making the print motor move to its neutral position so that the pen is way off the the paper, and then the gantry motor is going to move the gantry all the way to one side of the robot. Hub light matrix is going to say it's ready and then it's going to set the ready state flag to true and then it's going to set the scanning flag to false. 
Okay. We then need to create a uh, start stop function. So the start stop function is going to be designed so that we run the same function to start the robot and also to stop the robot. So to define a start stop, we're going to go uh, and set global scanning, which means that we're going to use the global scanning variable and uh, not accidentally create a scanning variable inside here. Hub.speaker.beep 70 at 0 0.2 seconds. So if scanning is equal to false, so if we're not scanning at the moment, we want to start the scanning procedure. So scanning equals true. Hub.speaker.beep 60 0.2 and hub.light matrix dot right scanning. So just before it starts scanning, it's going to make some beeps, set the flags, and then write out that we are going to start scanning. Okay. If it's not scanning, then we want to um, I mean if if it is already scanning, then we want to stop the scanning. So here we say scanning equals false hub.speaker dot beep 68 0.2 and then we reset the robot so if we are scanning then we stop the scanning but if we're not scanning then we start the scanning and that's how we roll with this uh, start stop function uh, it saves us from um, doing it uh, with two different functions and also it mimics the way that we're using the force sensor because we want to use the same force sensor to trigger the start and the stop. Next we're going to set some, uh, oops my hub just disconnected, Better start the thing back up. We're going to set the uh, light, mm, you know what, we'll, we'll just use the happy symbol. That's that's kind of nice. Uh, print motor that's set default speed. So now we're running into the uh, execution of the code. Uh, we're going to set the default speed of the print motor to 100 because we don't need to be too delicate with that. Gantry motor dot set default speed to 10 percent, and then we want to set the wheel motor set default speed to 10% as well so those two motors we want to be pretty delicate and then we reset the robot right at the start before we start the robot okay now we go to the main loop of the robot so while true if button is pressed whoops is equal to false and button dot is pressed equals to true then we're going to uh, start our robot so here we're going to uh, we're checking the flag and then we're checking the physical um, uh, button as well so the the force sensor so if our flag is off but the button is pressed then we're going to make it start and then set the flag off so that if we press it again um, I mean if we're holding down the button we're not triggering it twice so hub.speaker dot beep make a higher pitch beep and then start stop button pressed is equal to true right however we also need to check if button pressed is equal to true and button dot is pressed is equal to false then button pressed is equal to false next we're going to check the scanning so if it is scanning then we are rolling the uh, motors to uh, actually do the printing so if scanning whoops, equals to true, then for i in range 46, 
So 46 times is uh, how many times we're moving across the gantry. So you want a higher number if you wanted more resolution, but then you'll have to decrease the amount it moves as well. So for I in range 46, if scanning is equal to false, for any reason, it would break out of the loop. But then, if scanning is not, not false, then we go gantry motor dot run for degrees, 10 degrees. So we move a little bit and then if button pressed is equal to false and button dot is pressed is equal to true then we also run start stop here. So this is for when we want to stop the robot uh, while it is running, right? Dot beep, 75, 0.2, and then we run the start stop. Because if we don't put our, our start stop detection while it's doing the um, the repetition in that those 46 sort of loops, then it's going to be very hard to catch uh, that button press. So that's why we're putting it in here. Start stop and then button pressed equals true. Mm, that's looking right. Okay. If color sensor, so now we're checking if we are printing. So if the color sensor dot get reflected light is less than 50, you can adjust this, make it higher if your uh, robot is finding it difficult to, to uh, detect the blackness of your uh, of your scanned image. Print motor dot run for rotations one. Then if scanning is equal to true, gantry motor dot run for seconds five and minus ten. So this is moving the gantry back across towards the other side, back to normal, and then wheel motor dot run four degrees. 10 degrees so we're just moving uh, a slight slight amount forward uh, if we are still in that scanning mode after that we do an else because we are uh, this is all while scanning is true right but if we're not scanning if scanning is equal to false then we have to do uh, a complete shutdown of all the motors so gantry motor dot stop print motor dot stop and wheel motor dot stop okay so this is the full code so uh, at the start we set all of our objects and all our flags as well then we define two functions the reset function to move the robot back into the original position and the start stop function which is to start the robot and stop the robot so you can press the force sensor to start and press the force sensor again while it's scanning to stop it. Uh, and then afterwards, we have um, uh, a bit of a, a default speed set over here. And then we have our actual programming loop in here, which checks for all the different states of our robot. And as always, I want to thank the sponsor of today's video, More Educational. Ever since Creator Academy started making LEGO Education videos, we have been greatly supported by the experts at More Educational. They are an authorized partner of LEGO Education with over 20 years experience working with LEGO Education products. So if you're in Australia and you want to buy genuine LEGO Education products like the ones shown in this video, then make sure you visit the More Educational website. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial today. Make sure you leave me a like and a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.